What's up guys? It's your girl Jasmine. Bienvenido a mi canal. So today I decided to do something a little bit different, a chit chat while doing these knotless box braids. So let's just hop right into the video. All right, so I just got out of the shower, just washed my hair, and now I think I'm going to blow dry it before I braid it. I got my blow dryer. I think I'm gonna use this heat protectant. I got it off Amazon. I'll link everything down below. The next step is to part my hair and then we'll start the chat. What I'm using today for braiding hair, I got off Amazon. Again, I'll link it down below. I got it in, I think, 1B black. And then I'll be using Rat Tail Comb and Shine and Jam gel. So I usually part and then I get my handy dandy hand mirror to see. All right, I guess we can get to chatting. Now that I'm back in the US, I've kind of been feeling a little discouraged because I just don't really know what kind of content to make. I probably should have separated the hair. Anyway, as I was saying, I really enjoyed making YouTube videos in the Dominican Republic. It's so beautiful over there and so different than anywhere I've been. But now that I'm in the US, it's just not as beautiful in my opinion. And it's just like things that other people see a lot, at least Americans. Please don't cut the hair, please don't cut the hair. Got it. Now I'm gonna just take some pieces out. So yeah, I just have the desire to make YouTube videos again. And I've been honestly been praying about what kind of content I should make. This is how the first break turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. I've just been praying about where I'm supposed to go, where the Lord wants me to be. It's been good um, reconnecting with people that I hadn't seen in years. I've had several occasions where I felt homesick. Homesick um, from the DR. I mean, I was there for five years from ages um, 16 to 21. And I feel like those are pretty big years in someone's life. I just was really a part of the community in the DR and i made amazing friends and so i just really miss them god's been so good to me and he's really showed me that he's never gonna like leave me stranded <laughs> and that when he tells you to go somewhere he's going to provide everything you need in order to do so and he's not gonna leave you hanging when you arrive to that destination that he tells you to go to like he told me to go back to the u.s and he provided the finances for my plane ticket. He provided a roof over my head. He provided clothes on my body. So many people donated winter clothes because I had moved in the winter time in January and I didn't have any winter clothes. I've been wanting to practice more of my French because at one point I had hit like fluency in French and I would do uh, tours um, in the DR in f like fully in French and then I'd do some in English and I would do these tours with French natives. And I got so much practice and I learned so much through being a tour guide. And then after the pandemic hit, I was out of a job for like like eight months, I couldn't do any tours. And I made the mistake of not practicing during that time. And so I forgot a lot of what I had learned. Now I'm really trying to get back at that, but it's kind of hard here because I don't know anyone that speaks French. And in the DR, at least I could practice with French natives, with French tourists. Uh, they're just, they're, they were French people. There were a lot of French people in the DR on vacation and I'd just go up to them when I'd see them and start talking to them. There were a lot of Italians, Germans, so I was exposed to several languages, especially Spanish, and constantly hearing other languages that are not English. When I first moved there, I looked so rough, so rough. I broke out in horrible acne, horrible acne, due to certain foods that just my body rejected, did not like. Everything was very oily, sugary, dairy. That's all we would eat, is all we could find at the moment when we first moved. So I had horrible acne, which led to acne scars, which you can see, like I'm, I'm like, before I put the makeup on, you could see um, I was kind of dealing, I'm still dealing with that recovering I'm getting better so I broke out in horrible acne on top of that I got a parasite when I first I think it was like two three months after I moved I got a parasite from a puppy 
That was my birthday present, my 17th birthday present. But that's a story alone I would love to do a video on because that's, that's a story in a whole word right there. There was not a single spot in my body that was not covered with something. I either had it covered with acne, hyperpigmentation, or it had bubble things, or it had little bumps, or I had a rash or something. I did not have a single clear spot on my body. And as you can see, I'm still um, recovering. Now, I think these are from like body acne, but on my legs, I have, I still have scars from the bubbles, like from that parasite, which happened four years ago. That was four years ago and I still have the scars. I'm still like in a journey of clearing my skin, but I've learned to really not be insecure about it. I mean, I still have like scars. You can kind of see on my arms, on my legs. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I am covered still in these little blemishes and everything and I don't care anymore. I feel beautiful the way I am in my own skin. I just, I'm not insecure about it anymore. I wear shorts here in the US, no problem. Not even concerned or scared people are gonna look at my legs or my arms. Like I really, I just don't care anymore. I'm a lot more comfortable in my own skin. I'm a little bit further along, still have quite a bit to go, but I've been at it for about two and a half hours now. No, three, three hours. I just ran out of my Shine and Jam gel, which means I need to go to the store and get more. I guess we're gonna have to figure out how I'm going to make my hair look oh, presentable to leave the house. <sighs> scarf, scarf, do I have a scarf? Uh, yeah, let's do a hat. Good enough just to go to the beauty supply store, I think. All right, let's let's go. Let let's let's go. Okay. All right, I'm back. Almost done. Sort of, kind of. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna power through it. I'd say I've made it pretty far. I really only have left these two sections, the top, and then I'm done. I think. It's turning out pretty nice. Let's see the back. Now here, my parting is not um, the best. I feel like I've been kind of lazy with my parting. All right, so I have officially finished the braids. This is how they look. And again, my parting is not perfect. Um, but I think they look pretty good. Now this braiding hair honestly was amazing. It was so easy to part and everything. Again, I'll link it down below. Now all I have left to do is dip my ends in boiling hot water and then put foam on the top of my hair. Blow dry that part and then I'll officially be done. I think I think I did a pretty good job, honestly. I just finished dipping the hair in the hot water. So now I'm gonna use Shine and Jam. It's like mousse foam stuff. I've only done this one other time. I think, did I put it on my hand? I'm gonna put it on my hand. Oh no, wait, that didn't happen right. Wait, well, why is it coming? It's like coming out like a liquid and then turning into a foam. I don't, whoa, that's that's a lot, that's a lot. I think I did too much. Whoa, this feels so satisfying, oh my goodness. I used to never do this, but then when I would look up like tutorials on YouTube, all like the girls would do this. Whoa, this feels so cool. I'll put a little bit more on just for fun. I think, I think I'm supposed to put it like on, um, Maybe a little bit lower down the hair. I don't know, actually. I think it's just on the top. I think this is so it like lasts longer, stays neater. Oh my goodness, it feels so satisfying. It feels so good on my scalp. Um, and then I'll grab this handy dandy scarf. Put that over. Do you hear it? ASMR. Do you hear that? It's like bubbling. Oh, that's so satisfying. All right. Let's see, hopefully it's dry. I did it for a few minutes. 
I think they look pretty good. And I only used a little less. I used one and a half packs of hair. And the hair that I bought came with eight. One, two, three. Yeah, the hair that I bought came with eight packs of hair. And I only used one and a half for my whole head of hair for these knotless box braids. So I'm gonna link that hair down below. It's not sponsored. I just, seriously, it's actually really good hair. So it's the next day. I forgot to shoot the outro. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.